one way or the other. All the plans of the enemy. People always ask me, why is that? That's the enemies. We just have one enemy. And behind the enemy, you have the children and grandchildren. So I believe strongly that without one, there won't be others. So it's just one. So our focus should be on just one. So like I said, what the enemy has always planned, our God, good God, gracious God, huh? all knowing and sufficient God, mm. always turn their evil plan to good. You know, if it were the situation that Fubara is involved in anything or Fubara's associate, by now, Nigeria will be hot. There will be arrests. There will be statements. There will be counter this. There will be press conference. But because it is from the other side, but glory to God that they couldn't hide it. I've not been hearing anything. And I'm wondering, after how many weeks now, the Nigerian police is still not able to come out and make a statement about the attempt by one, well, well, I don't know what his name is, that tried to detonate dynamite in front of other presidential. I'm still wondering why it has not happened. But if it's maybe any other thing that has to do with us, they will say, ah, if I'm right now, they should even charge the person for terrorism. Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. Governor of River State, Simi Fubara, was speaking there at the swearing in ceremony of the new. Commissioner for Finance for River State, Frank Emmanuel, Dr. Emmanuel Frank Fubara. And he used the opportunity to say some things about the state of River State. And uh, that is up that we showed you that you're listening to was just a brief uh, take from a lengthy uh, speech that he made during that swearing in ceremony of the new commissioner. The new commissioner was cleared by the State House of Assembly led by the speaker Jumbo. You can see that in that speech, he said a lot of things in that few excerpt that you heard. He said a lot of things. Some of the things he said there has also vindicated what this channel has been saying for a very long time about the reverse crisis. He said that the river state has only one enemy. That people are always asking him, why is he always, always saying that rivers, you don't, you don't talk about the enemy of river state. He always talking about the enemy of river state instead of the enemies. He said that river state has only one enemy. And that that enemy, the other enemies that are attached to it, they are immaterial. It is that key enemy that River State has. But he said that God has always helped them to overcome the antics of this enemy. 
Now, that has vindicated what this channel has been saying about the fact that the problem or the crisis in River State is in the hands of President Bola Metinubu. President Bola Metinubu has the power to rein in this enemy that Fubara is talking about. It's only one enemy. If that enemy is cut off, the other smaller enemies attached to him will fizzle out. They are immaterial. And that is why many people believe that the river state crisis has dragged so long because President Bola Medinubu does not have the courage of his conviction to do the right thing in that state. By calling that enemy to order, by reining him in, by telling him enough is enough. Because right now, President Bola Medinubu does not seem to understand the enormity of the crisis he is fueling in River State by his attitude to that problem. He is allowing the courts to be messing around with River State people. But at the end of the day, Nigeria may have to pay a price for what is going on in River State. What is going on in River State is not a serious issue that cannot be addressed by a president that is determined to do the right thing. By a president that put nation above self, put nation above friends, above political interest. It is an easy task to be handled. We have had presidents in this country who have tackled several enemies at once. Now, Fubara is saying, River State has only one enemy. And the President of Federal Republic of Nigeria cannot claim that he does not know that enemy of River State. The enemy that is trying to make River State ungovernable. That is what the enemy he is talking about. The enemy that has come up with all kinds of antics, all the crises in River State, Fubara say it is this one enemy, just one enemy, just one enemy. If only they can take care of this one enemy. If only the federal government can take care of this one enemy. The River State will return back to normalcy. There will be peace and security in River State and the people will be going about their normal businesses. But because President Bola Metinubu don't seem to appreciate the consequences of not being on the side of the reverse people, of not being on the side of Fubara, he is food dragging, allowing river states to be an epicenter of political crisis. It may start in River State. Nobody knows where it will end. That is why everybody has to be careful. Our political history is littered with stains that started small and degenerated to the level that even the government in power could no longer handle it. This is, this is a sign. This is one of the, those kind of things that this administration led by President Bola Metinbu, should take care of by listening to Fubara and tackle this one enemy of River State so that peace can return to River State. It is a simple thing. Nobody is indispensable. Nobody is indispensable. So President Bola Metinbu can dispense with this one enemy in the interest of the nation, in the interest of River State. Because already his, the economy is slipping out of his hands in several directions. Anything that will lead to crisis in River State, 
anything that will lead to militancy in river state, anything that will make Niger Delta unsettled, should not be a thing that the president would like to witness. You should go and ask President Muhammad Buhari how some of his utterances and his actions led to instability in his first term in Niger Delta and the pipelines began to explode. That was what led forced Nigeria into the first recession that Buhari took Nigeria into. It started from taking the issue of Niger Delta for granted. What will Niger Delta do? That time, even the, the, the University of Maramatu, they said they will remove it. They will close it down. They say all kinds of things. They even declared uh, Tompolo. They declared him wanted. They published his name, EFCC put his name everywhere. Tompolo declared him wanted. Niger Delta was on fire. And the Nigerian economy paid a price. At the end of the day, it was the same Tompolo that Buhari handed the contract for the protection of pipeline. By the time he was, by the, by the, by, up to the time he left office. And that contract is subsisting up to today. That is, should be a, a lesson to President Bola Metinobo on why he should be careful with River State and allow peace to reign, allow Fubara to function and take care of this one enemy. Then there's another issue that uh, Fubara brought up. It is the issue of the bomb blast that happened about three weeks or there about ago. Now that bomb blast, which happened during a protest in support of the police occupation of local government headquarters. Remember, following the expiration of the tenure of the local government chairman in River State, their tenure ends after three years. It cannot be extended. The state governor as Fubara, as is the practice all over the nation, constituted a caretaker committee chairman for all the local governments. But instead of allowing these caretaker committees to take care of the, take over the offices, the SY chairman of local government claimed that their tenures had been had been extended for six months by the River State House of Assembly members that even that a court in the same state said that they were an illegality at the time they made that extension that they were an illegal entity. Police occupied the whole place. They didn't allow Kataka Committee of set up by Fubara to enter the Secretariat. They didn't allow the Proyation Weekend lawmaker, uh, uh, local government chairman. Now, the pro, pro yes, weekend lawmakers, they were happy about that occupation by the police. They were happy. They even staged demonstration in support of the police occupation. It was in the process of that protest in support of the police occupation of the of the local government secretaries that there was a bomb blast opposite uh, Hotel the Presidential Port Harcourt. Now you listen to the governor and he is how he called out the police. He said several weeks after he has not nobody had heard it, have heard anything about the the person who detonated that bomb. Don't forget, the River State government eventually arrested the culprit 
who blew part of his body off in the process of detonating that bomb. He was caught in a hospital, River State University Teaching Hospital, I think. But till the time Fubara spoke on Monday, during the swearing in of the new commissioner, nobody has said anything. The police has not done anything, they have not said anything about it. And Fubara was saying, had it been it was his own people that 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 bomb blast was linked to him or his supporters, he said there would have been an array of statements, brokers by the police. That's what he was alleging. You would have had, we would have had an earful. But he said, now there is silence. Nobody's talking about anything. In other words, the governor, who is the chief security officer, is saying that, look, the police has not been very transparent, has not been very open, has not been sincere about his investigation on the matter. That's what Fubara is saying there. And Fubara is not alone in that uh, assessment of the direction the investigation has gone to so far. In fact, uh, there is a group, a political party in River State, the Action People's Party. They have even gone further to blame not only the police, but almost all the security agencies in River State for their silence over this matter. Now, the Action People's Congress, Action People's Party, APP, they have alleged that the silence of the National Security Advisor, Nuhu Ribado, the Inspector General of Police, Kayode Abuetokum, the River State Commissioner of Police, Olatunji Dusu, and the Department of State Service over the, the deadly bomb blast by some protesters in River State, saying that their silence was becoming a stain on the image of President Bola Medinibu-led government. The opposition party said this while reacting to the uh, the detonation of an explosive device during a protest march in Port Harcourt, the River State capital, by supporters of a gladiator in the river's political crisis, culminating in the death of one person and others seriously injured. APP at a press conference by Comrade actually can a say that the deafening silence of the security agencies which are expected to take action against the masterminders and perpetrators of the violent incident in river state was casting aspersion on not just them alone but the all progressive congress led government of Tinubu by being insensitive to the security of lives and property of the people of the state. The APP went on to say that though Governor Simi Fubara is the chief security officer of the state, but he lacks the powers to command the office of the NSA, National Security Advisor, police, the DSS, Hence, only President Tinubu, who is the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, can direct the heads of the security agencies to bring those behind the dastardly act to book. By Fubara expressing his frustration with the that with the investigation about the bomb blast 
in his state. He's also calling out the president, who is the commander in chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, for not doing enough to address this matter, for not asking questions from his security agencies about what is going on in River State, about the bomb blast, how far it had gone, what they have discovered, why are they not talking to the people, why are, not, why are they not revealing the names of those behind this bomber, this, this bomber, yes, the person that was arrested in the hospital that allegedly planted the bomb or detonated the bomb. Did he, did he act alone? Is he a lone ranger? Or is he a part of a, a group of terrorists, of whatever? Who sent him? Who are his co-conspirators? How many other people have been arrested following the information that was extracted from him? How many are at large? How many had been apprehended? What is their motive? Who sent them? These are the questions begging for answer. And you could see the frustration in the voice of Simu Fubara. Simu Fubara has said a lot in a few minutes. The honor is on President Bola Metinibo to do the needful for the peace and security of River State and also for the economic survival of Nigeria. Nigeria depends a lot on oil from the Niger Delta and the River State is a key actor in that Niger Delta region. It's a key actor in generation of foreign exchange for Nigeria through oil. River State cannot be toyed with. River State faith should not be hanging on the neck of one man. River State should be free. Rivers people deserve freedom. Rivers people deserve democracy that works for the people of the state. River State people have spoken. They are not interested in Godfatherism. They want good governance. President Bola Metinibu should give them good governance by taking care of their only enemy that Fubara has identified. Let him liaise with Fubara to take care of this one enemy and ensure that peace return in River State. Because anything short of that, let it be on record, as Edwin Clark used to say, that region is a very volatile region. Anything can provoke anything in that region. And that is the last thing this country wants because our the future of Nigerian economy still depends on oil. Despite all the effort we have been making about diversification, we still depend on oil. We still depend on oil. Let us not allow the mistake of Buhari to repeat again in 2024 that's my take on this matter thank you for watching this video and if you are new to my channel you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel hit the subscription button hit the notification bell when you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell anytime i have a new video you'll be among the first to know god bless you and please don't forget to like this video because when you like it google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.